Hi everyone and welcome to this short tour of the healthcare project delivery community um, on Knowledge Hub. So welcome to all the new members also. Um, in this short tour I'm just going to take you through the different functionality within the community and some of the things that you'll be able to find in there. But by all means we're always open to questions if there's anything that you can't find um, or if there's someone you want to connect to you can always ask those as we go along. So as you can see here on the screen, you should get a, a landing page every time you log into the Knowledge Hub. Now it's best to save your login details, um, so you can save your credentials when you go in. It's just a little tick box, and it'll save you entering those every time you want to come into the Knowledge Hub. So in your landing page, you'll be able to see all the recent activity from every single group that you're a member of. Um, so as you can see there, there's, there's quite a few recent updates. So that's down the left hand side of the screen. We do have some suggested groups and that's based on um, those that you're currently a member of. And you can see here the, the little icons um, of the groups that you are a member of. So if I was to go up here on the grey ribbon, these are all the different areas within the community. So if we click on the Healthcare PDC Home, you'll come to the landing page um, of the Healthcare Project Delivery Community. Now on here we have a short intro which will tell you a little bit about when, why the community exists and then we have some nice looking tiles which are all hyperlinks to areas within the community that you can access just by a single click. So for example if we wanted to go and find some of the groups available that we can join these are the specific interest groups. These are open and less specified and um, so you can join as many as you wish and I'll just take you in one of these so we can show you how they all look. Now the layout is exactly the same and um, so you'll see across the top the grey ribbon here. These are all of the different areas within the within the group. So on the front you'll see a short description um, of what the group is. Again down the left hand side you can have a, a quick view of all the recent activity and some of these you'll be able to access directly by clicking on them. So you can see there that that's a hyperlink. Um, and again, we've got some new events here that you can view. On the right hand side, there are announcements and um, these will come periodically. So again, you can click on here to to access further information if you want to read more. In this particular group, we do have a, a group poll which is currently active. Um, so it's easy enough just to vote on that. Um, I have actually voted so you can't see the options, but you would just be able to, to single click in there. Um, and again, a quick snapshot of what's happening. So these are, are a bit like tweets, so very short and sweet messages. So there may be a, a hyperlink to a specific article within the group um, or just a quick message um, or some recent information that you might want to check out. So if we go back up to the top, so the forum is an area where you can have um, ongoing discussions, a bit like a, a Q&A. So you can obviously engage and liaise with other group members um, on different topics. So it may be grouped together in a particular category um, or individual threads. So as the group and the membership develops, um, we can build on these within the forum. So it's easy enough just to add a new category if you wanted to um, and post a new thread. Um, and again, if you want more information on those, please do contact us. In the library, here's where we can upload all of the individual documents. Again, we can group those together in folders um, or there may be individual documents. Um, so again, you can just click on there. Depending on what format the file is in, um, you may have to download a copy to view um, or you'll see it up on the screen. The section here for blogs, if you're a keen blog writer or if you even want to just give it a go, um, please do so. Um, don't hold back if there's not currently in, in there at the moment. Um, we'd love to see them. Um, I'm not that creative myself, although I will give it another go. Um, so watch this space. The events section is a really useful one. Um, as you can see here, it clearly lays out the upcoming events. So again, you would just click on the title here to see more information about that particular event. So the short description, the, the date and the times, um, and again, there'll be a, a link there for you to go and register for that event. So we do have an agreement. The APM will upload all of their events um, within the capability development group. So they're always worth checking out. Um, 
on the wiki page. Some of these may be developed, some of them may not, but it's certainly an area that we can utilize in the group um, to work on, um, whether it be documents, um, articles, something that we can collaborate on. Um, and again, just have that one version of the truth. The ideas section is a really good one. Um, again, we can organize some separate sessions with members um, to actually go through this um, and to try and kind of kickstart some of those ideas and thinking behind those. But basically, once members start uploading their individual ideas, um, it could be something how to improve a process. It might be an improvement on a, a document. They're just quick examples. Um, you'll see them on the page as a list. And then other members will have the opportunity to come in and, and like those. Uh, and then the order on the page will be based on those with the most likes, um, which we will see at the top. You've then got the option to see all of the group members. Um, so you can connect to those people. You can send them uh, messages. As you can see in the top right hand corner, we've got this envelope here. That is the messaging function and that is a private message. So nobody else will be able to see that. Uh, and just whilst we're up here, this little bell will also indicate any notifications that you may have. Um, so just by clicking on that, you will be able to view. Um, and that is it. So if we go back to the network at the top by clicking on the NHS logo, I'll just take you back into the landing page. Again, please do take your time to visit each of these hyperlinks. Um, and we are always looking for people to volunteer to help us facilitate the groups uh, and manage the community. There is no time commitment on that. Uh, we do understand it's, it may be on top of the day job, uh, but it is very rewarding. It gives us the opportunity to, to grow, develop, build in our skills and capabilities uh, and together ultimately deliver uh, more successful projects uh, and programs. Um, so my name is Jocelyn Shaw. Please do not hesitate to contact me either um, in the healthcare project delivery community. You can connect with me and send me a message on there. Um, or you can email me at jocelyn.shaw at he.nhs.uk. That's great. And we hope to uh, connect with you soon in the healthcare project delivery community. Thank you.